Hello there guys, my name is Matt and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be starting a series uh, which has been requested to me a couple of times. Um, we're going to be learning how to create my, the Minecraft cinematics that I make. And um, this is going to be like maybe a 10-ish episode part series. And uh, we're going to be covering the basics and step by step on how to create your very own Minecraft cinematics. Now in this video, this is going to be an introduction to it. Uh, we're going to be learning some of the software that we use. Um, we are also going to be using, learning to use some of the mods that we use, and uh, so yeah, we're going to get a basic feel for them, feel for things. Now there are three stages in the development of a Minecraft cinematic. There is the planning stage, in which you, um, it depends on whether you're doing a machinima or a cinematic. If it's just a cinematic, you don't really need to plan for anything. You just sort of site out really nice scenery. Um, places that you want to to record uh, we so we have the the planning stage uh, we that's also the stage where we compile our dot minecraft folder for the recording second stage is the recording itself where we record the uh, footage and the third stage is the production and the editing where we chuck it all into Adobe After Effects and edit it now mentioning Adobe After Effects, that is the editing software that we're going to be using. You can use Sony Vegas, but I find it a lot easier to use um, Adobe After Effects. There is also Fraps, which is the other um, software we're going to be using. And yeah, so you can buy these two softwares. I bought them legitimately, however there are illegal torrents out there. I'm not saying you should go download those illegal torrents, but um, I bought these my software software legitimately, and that is on your own, you know, half. If uh, you do that stuff, so I'm not encouraging it. But there are torrents out there for it. I'm not going to link you any and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So now um, we are going to be having a look at some of the mods that we use. And if I bring up my Internet Explorer, we're going to be this is the first mod here, uh, Camera Studio. I use three mods in my recording. I use Camera Studio, I use um, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, and I also use um, a texture pack, which isn't really a mod, but I don't know. Anyway, now, um, the compatibility issues for some of these things at the moment, Sonic Ether has still not released his 1.3.1 official release, so uh, we're going to be using the default texture pack for the uh, the default texture pack for this because it's still a bit buggy and it's in beta stage. Now I'm not going to be downloading these mods. Just I'm not going to be compiling the Minecraft folder itself. I've already got a Minecraft folder to use. If you want, I will create a video which will show you how to um, compile a Minecraft folder with all these mods. But it's not really that difficult. All you need is this mod, is mod loader. The two mods, they are compatible with each other. Texture pack if you want. Um, Optifine, you know, it's not that difficult. So, if we open up our Minecraft, we can see. We log in here. Now, please keep in mind that you are going to need a good computer to record this. Please keep in mind that you will need a good, record, a good computer to record this. I can't stress how much input, how important that is because I don't want people commenting saying you know this is like my I only get 10 FPS when I record with this you need a good computer it's obvious um, and even recording with Camera Studio it's not that good because Camera Studio isn't a good uh, in-game footage recorder see it's quite laggy at the moment but when I bring out Fraps um, we will be able to see all of this stuff this is just this is Sonic Ether's unbelievable unbelievable shaders this is Camera Studio here. Um, and so yeah, we can use all of that stuff. It's not the not the actual version, but um, it'll do. It'll do for what we're doing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over into Fraps, and we will have a look at some of the basic controls for the Camera Studio mod, um, and some of the you know some of the tips that I like to I like to do. So we're going to yep. Alright, so welcome to in-game Minecraft with Fraps. Um, I'm recording at 30 FPS solid here, and we are working with Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders and Camera Studio. Uh, we're using a default texture pack at the moment because of the bugs that are sort of introduced with Sonic Ether's Unbelie Unbelievable Shaders. But, oh, that's a really nice sort of 
entry point there. Um, but we are, you know, I would usually use faxes, pure BD craft. Um, I usually like to use that. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over some of the sort of tips that I like to use um, in the recording and some of the cinematic controls for Camera Studio. So what we're going to be actually start off with is the camera controls for Studio. So um, we can press O for options, but we're not going to do that. So what we do is we go slash cam, and that will give us sort of options for it. But the main thing you need to worry about is you need to find a point, make sure we're going to be recording in F1 mode, obviously, um, because my hand's really bugged out at the moment as well, plus we don't get the... Um, GUI interface as well. So we are going to go slash cam one and then come up sort of and go up about here and go slash cam two. Then we go, it automatically creates a spline. Uh, if it doesn't automatically create a spline, you're going to go slash cam SP, which creates a spline. And then we go cam start and enter the amount of time you want it to take to go from point A to point B. So I'm going to go 20 seconds because I like my cinematics to be um, slowish usually and this creates a nice little cinematic feel to it. Okay, so then we can go cam stop and that'll stop our cam. Okay, so that's basically all you need to know for the, um, the in-game sort of footage for, uh, the, sorry, the commands for Camera Studio. Um, another one is slash cam clear, and that clears all the points that you've got, and you can reset new, wow, okay, reset new, um, new points. I'm just going to get a sword, just so I can kill off these sheep, so I don't get in the way of my recording. Get out of my life. Okay, so, the first sort of recording that I'm going to be doing is that of this cave here because I like the look of the cave. Um, the lighting looks really well. The one thing you want to focus on doing is getting that sun. If I go time, oh, not that. Sorry, just got indigestion. Time set zero will set the time to early morning. That's when you when you get the sun's rays like this, um, and the best reflection of the water. Now, talking about the water, you want to get as much water in your video as possible. Water looks sexy. Water and sun is the best combination you will ever get. And I just got a FPS drop there. Wow. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we are going to, actually, we're going to have to set off this, um, this water and let it flow into the cave itself. And that way we can get a nice sort of, um, like that, actually... It sort of looks a bit dull because of the um, the edges. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that. So let's chuck some grass down, and we're gonna block that off again. Mind you, we can always use the water in another scenario. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of have it come out of the cave, past the vines, and look through the sun. So if I go cam one here, bring it out sort of to here, cam two. Now we're only doing very, we're making it very, very slow. So if I go cam start, oh no, 20 seconds, I can have it sort of come out of here like this. And no, I'm going to hit the wall. That's not good. Okay. So I'm going to have to redo that. Cam clear. Oh no clear and that way we are we can do this again without it interfering so I'm going to start a bit further down actually I'll start a bit further forward that's what I'll do cam 1 bring it out here a bit lower maybe about there that should work cam Sorry, I'm not used to this mouse. Cam start, 20 seconds. Okay, so that gives us a nice, really slow cinematic effect. Another thing, another good tip, is make sure you get a lot of waving wheat. You want animation to happen. You don't want still things, you know. You want the rippling of the water. You want 
the moving of a sheep. <laughs> you, you want the waving of wheat, the moving of movement of trees, you know. You want all that good stuff. So, now that we have that, we are going to get maybe a shot of the, shot of the water. Uh, let's see, it's a nice sort of swampy biome here. <laughs> um, my FPS is actually dropping, I'm not sure why. Shouldn't. I'm recording in 1080p, that's probably the reason. So if I cam 1, probably shouldn't record in 1080p. 720p is fine. Cam 2, cam start, 20 seconds. Alright, so, this isn't the actual uh, sort of cinematics that I'm going to be using, because I want to get the, the best sort of footage that um, I can use. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting it, and this will be the end of episode one and I'm going to be go I'm going to go out and I'm going to record my own cinematics um, of this world of sort of these around this area here and I'm going to yeah we're going to use those um, so that's what we're going to be importing into After Effects and that's what we're going to be using so this is going to be the end of episode one thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode where we're going to learn how to uh, edit it and we're going to learn to start editing. Well, this is going to be a lot shorter than 10 episodes. This, this might even be 3 episodes. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, I'm going to show you some cool effects that you can use. And how to do it and how to use it. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next video.